Okay, today we're going to learn how to do ADR using Audition. This is the gear that you guys will need to check out depending on what you originally used when you were shooting your field recordings. Um, typically, a lavalier mic or the, or the shotgun mic are the two primary tools. The idea is that you will try to use the same mic that you used in the field to help match uh, the levels as much as possible. When you come into the uh, edit bay, uh, you'll basically you'll go mic to XLR to our pigtail um, XLR to stereo mini plug-in and then you will plug that into the uh, microphone button in the hub in the edit bays. The next thing you'll need to do is get into system preferences, go into sound and select that USB audio um, as your input and this is this is the only way that you'll be able to alter the volume of of that input or output is is through this slider bar okay now let's take a look at the uh, assets that you guys have downloaded you'll see that we've got a four beep um, a picture track that is small you know very small this is a 1280 by 720 um, you can also make one that's uh, 720 by 405 we just need we want to have a small uh, low resolution uh, video to follow the project in order for the resources to be spent more on uh, rendering audio uh, in real time as opposed to this video um, so let's open up Premiere and you'll see that I've built the file and we've got uh, So how'd it go, Paul? I've got the tracks uh, divided up by character. So how'd it go, Paul? So I've got Stuart's character on track two. Uh, it's kind of a long All the Palmers are on track one and then I have the uh, which is basically a, a mixed um, room tone space here because all we're going to be doing is is replacing Stuart's dialogue in this exercise. So with this understood we will first of all we will need to export an OMF file and I'm going to create a new folder inside my working file called ADR and we are going to save our OMF in there. Next we will open Audition and we will import our file. Import. We will go to our OMF and bring that in. And if you see we have we've got our mixer window and we've got our editor window and it has basically all of our tracks here. So let, let's <clears throat> name these to make them more useful. We got Palmer, we've got Stuart, and we've got Room Tone left and right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to command save this. we can save it in, let's put it in the ADR section to keep that a little cleaner. Okay, next thing we are going to do is we are going to add a video track. And we are going to grab our video, drag it up into our project, and let's watch it, make sure everything's in sync. So how'd it go, Paul? Uh, it's kind of a long story. What the F, Paul? Who's the tool in their phone and my mom? All right. <laughs> so we do have a, a transport here, but it might not be popping up on your uh, 
when when your uh, version of audition opens and so we'll go to window and we will bring in transport to have a whole separate one in case we in case we need that and so the way that ADR works is that uh, we need to um, if, if you need to do one character like we're going to replace characters uh, all of Stuart's voice in this and you're going to be the uh, you're going to use your voice to do that and so we, we can't just re if we've got one bad uh, audio sample basically it doesn't matter we have to replace everything in the scene in order for it to match and then we'll probably need to equalize it if we have um, stuff that's actually been shot in the field this Palmer stuff has already been ADR'd and so we won't go through the uh, the, the equalizing process but uh, but this will kind of get you to that point. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is I'm gonna. We also need to bring in our four beep. That is in our assets. So I'm just gonna grab it, and I'm just gonna drag it down to here. call that beep and we will move it above our hero talking and, what the F? and that will help you uh, time the beginning I like to watch, instead of watching the mouths when I'm doing the ADR, I like to watch the, uh, the waveform because that will get us there quicker when I'm, when I'm redoing the reads. We will need to create a new mono track and we will call it Stuart ADR. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep our two beep close to our old one. So we'll, we'll call this Stuart Old now, so that we can keep them straight. So I'll just do this this sample just as an example. What the f, Paul? Who's the tool in their bone in my mom? All right. So that's the line. So on, on our ADR track, we're going to want to put it into record mode, and we'll see that we can see uh, the audio coming in. We're going to want to, uh, basically, let's just solo the beep, and that means that it, it mutes all the other tracks, and so all we'll hear is the beep, and I will say the line because we don't want to be hearing the line unless you have headphones on when you're re making the line and so let's give this a try i'm just going to hit the record button and give it a go what the f palm who's the tool in there boning my mom okay let's play that back what the f palm who's the tool in there boning my mom all right Lip sync, that looks pretty good. Uh, sometimes if you're off just a little bit, you can get in here and just put some cuts in the uh, picture and wiggle it around a little bit. Who's the tool in there boning my mom? Just to snug things up a little bit. And so now basically you will proceed to... Uh, replace all of Stuart's audio and all of those lines and then when you're done we will uh, mute the beep and old Stuart and we will export multi-track mix down entire session and we will call it 
your name ADR. I created a, a, a folder inside the ADR file that says final. So put it in there. And it's going to make an AIF, which is fine. You can also make it a, a wave if you prefer. And we will click OK. And it took it that quickly to mix it. So we will dig in that folder now. ADR final. And here is our final mix. Name it properly. Okay. Next we want to do is open up Premiere again. And I'm going to import that final mix. And we will drag it into our project. Mute all of the other tracks. What the F, Paul? And then we will export that. Match source. And we'll call it your name ADR. And save it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in the final one as well. And go ahead and render that. And so you're going to turn in that uh, rendered Adobe file and then you're going to do a screen capture. Control Command 3 will take a picture of the whole screen and then you're going to turn in this uh, as well. So good luck.